Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you're having a great day. So guys, you may remember if you subscribed three months ago, almost to the day, um, we've done this video here, which was a review of the Fear of God California. Um, interesting video, I was very excited to pick these up at the time. Um, you may have picked that up through the vibes that I was sending out on that video. Um, but anyway, three months down the line, I've worn the shoe probably six times. So I thought I'd do an update um, because I'm sure it'd probably be of interest to some people. So, as with anything that we buy in life, there's always pros and cons with a product. So today I thought I'd list four pros and four cons that I personally think I'd come across and found with this shoe. Now, the first pro is, I think the packaging of the product is actually really, really good. It's not too over the top, but the box is quality. It was nice when you opened the box up inside, you had the paperwork with Fear of God wrote on it, and each shoe came in its own dust bag, which, to be honest with you, I think you really need that when you're paying this sort of money for what effectively is a slider. But nonetheless, the uh, dust bags have been quite handy for me. You know, I've gone out in one pair of shoes and then maybe during the course of the day I wanted to switch to these. So I just throw the dust bags in the back of my car and they're really, really good. They keep your shoes protected. But yeah, I think the dust bags and the packaging of the product was, um, was really, really good. So that's kind of point one, I suppose. Uh, pro number two is the actual um, shoe itself. I think the shoe is a good looking shoe. You'll certainly know that was my thoughts when I first purchased this shoe three months ago. And I still think it's a really good looking shoe. As I said before, um, you know, this shoe, it does look good with jeans. It look good, looks good with um, shorts. It looks good with sweatpants. It basically looks good with absolutely anything. But that is obviously a massive plus point for this shoe as well. So that for me is pro number two. Pro number three is the branding. Um, the branding itself, it's, you know, Fear of God, it's a very unique company. There's no company out there that I can really think of that is doing anything for the kind of price that Fear of God mainline charge, um, which is as exciting. You know, there are other brands out there. Um, Rick Owens, for example, you know, they do some really different pieces and clearly they are Rick Owens. If you're into fashion, you see it, you know. But the prices are very, very expensive. Um, so I think the branding, um, Fear of God branding itself speaks a lot. You know, it's got a, it's got a high street cred. Um, so that is, pro, uh, that is pro point number three. Pro point number four for these shoes is they are a talking piece. Like I say, I've worn these probably six times and every single time I've worn them, somebody has made a comment. Oh, I really like those. Are they as comfy as they look? What brand are they? They go really well with what you're wearing. So they are a talking piece, which again is nice. Um, you know, you want something on your feet, which is a little bit stand out from the crowd. So they definitely deliver from that point of view. Now let's talk about the cons. Um, and there's equally four of them that I've thought of. So first of all, they are expensive. This is a $200 shoe, and to be honest with you, it's really not a shoe. It's more of a slider type sort of style. I mean, the shoe itself, it's basically it's foam. That's all it is. I don't know if you can see on the bottom there. Um, it says extra light. So the material itself, it's literally just a piece of molded foam. Um, so it's not your typical shoe, you know, constructed maybe with leather or, you know, whatever it may be. It's it's just an ultra light uh, foam made shoe. So $200 for that, it's very, very expensive for, for really for what you're getting. You're, you're paying really just for the branding, if I'm completely honest with you. And yeah, there's some technology in it, but the technology I'll go into in a minute, it, it, the technology is not that great, in my opinion, after three months. So. Negative point for this number one is they're overpriced. Number two, one that I'm sure you all have read or have heard of, if you're interested in this shoe, you would have done some, some um, research on it. They overheat like crazy. Um, so here, I live in the south of Spain, which is generally hot, but you know, it's been the winter months here. Um, so it's probably been the best time of the year to wear these from the point of your feet not getting as hot as they would normally. In the summer, it can be for, say 40 degrees here. Typically in the winter, it's around half of that, so it's around 20. Even at 20 degrees and walking very short distances, I'm talking five or six minute walks, 
your feet overheat to the point where you just want to get the shoe off. Um, I know a lot of people have been combating that by wearing as best as they can no show shop, no show socks, but it's a problem. It's a problem either way because I prefer to wear them without socks because I think they just look better. Um, but then obviously your feet overheat more. If you do wear them with socks, even if you're wearing no show, they don't, it's not no show because the back of this shoe is so low that you can still see a pair of no show socks on your heel. So then that puts a little bit of a weird twist to the shoe, the way it looks. So there isn't a perfect workaround for this shoe. You've just got to wear it and expect your feet to overheat. So for me, that is a massive, massive negative point because I can't wear the shoes as much as I would like, purely for that reason. If I'm gonna be moving around a lot, this isn't the shoe. If you're just gonna be sitting inside, then it's a great shoe, it really is. But going back to the overheating point of view, I've worn this sitting at my desk for like nine, 10 hours without moving, literally without moving, maybe going to get a coffee, something like that from the kitchen area. But other than that, literally just sitting down for eight, nine, 10 hours, and my feet still got too hot, I had to kick them off. So that gives you an idea. Um, Another big negative of this shoe is when you are wearing the shoe and you're walking, the actual shoe bends. So this area here, it tends to do this. It moves in and out as you're walking, so it's kind of doing that. And if you actually look down at the shoe when you're walking, it just looks really kind of weird. So for me, that's another, another negative. You know, I wish the, the shoe would stay more molded to your feet instead of doing this expansion thing like this every time you walk. It's an ugly look. Um, I don't like that. So that is uh, negative point number three. Negative point number four is they crease. Um, they kind of remind me of an Air Force One. You know, if you've ever owned Air Force Ones, you step six, seven, eight steps in them and they're creased. It's the same with these. Can you see? big crease along the front there. Um, it's not a good look. Um, I have read that you can heat that out if you put a hairdryer to it. Um, that will bring the crease back out. But of course, that's great. You can take the crease out of it, but as soon as you wear it again, the crease is just gonna go straight back there. So it's a kind of a pointless exercise. So that's my four pros and my four cons of the Fear of God California. Um, so would I recommend anyone to buy one? Uh, sorry, to buy a pair? Yes and no. I think if you want everything that I said in the pro part, they look good, the packaging's nice, it's a great brand, and they're certainly talking pieces, then go for it. Um, however, there's a lot of cons with this shoe, and it's certainly not gonna be your most wearable shoe. So if you wanna spend $200 to have something that is a little bit different, then I would say go for it. But if you wanna spend $200 to have something that's really gonna fit what you need, which is gonna be comfortable to walk in, um, it's going to keep your feet at a temperature which is which is adequate um, and that they're not going to crease and they're going to stay in pristine condition then this probably isn't the shoe for you. Anyway guys, if you own a pair, I'd also like to see what your thoughts are. So please drop some comments below. Let me know how you've got on with these now you've owned them for a little while. Um, meantime, as always, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Really helps me out with the algorithms and all of that stuff. Um, and also give it a like, you know, like the video. If you haven't liked it, give it a like anyway, because that also helps me out. And the other thing, guys, as well, remember the Crepes and Clothing Facebook group. Um, that's the group just here. Um, it's a great group. There's lots of items always for sale in there. We do reviews and stuff like that, and news as well. So, you know, interesting stuff that's coming out, maybe restocks, re releases, that goes in there as well. So, it's a decent community to hang out at. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Hope you're having a great day, as I said, regardless of where you are in the world. Speak soon. Turn up.